Hello everyone, welcome to NewTube. I am Arun Kumar. Here I am going to explain hatch and slack pathway because these two scientists discovered this pathway in some plants, hence the name is given. It is also called a C4 pathway because the first product of this pathway is a 4 carbon compound that is oxaloacetic acid. If you take C3 pathway, the first product is 3 phosphoglyceric acid which is a 3 carbon compound, hence the name C3 pathway. Okay, what are the examples for uh, C4 plants that is uh, sugarcane maize because they grow in uh, hot tropical conditions and they employ a different method to synthesize sugar, hexose sugar. Okay, you see the difference between C3 and C4 pathway once I complete this session. Okay, the important thing to note in C4 plant is if you take the leaf of the C4 plant and just keep it under the microscope, you see a different anatomy. The anatomy is for example, if this is the vascular bundle that is xylem and phloem, okay, around them that is uh, some cells will be there, okay. So, it could be single layered or multi layered cells will be there. These cells which now surrounds the vascular bundle, so this is vascular bundle and these cells are called as bundle sheath cells, okay. We just write bundle sheath cells. You see the bundle sheath cells only in C4 plants like sugarcane maize, you do not see them in C3 plants. And what is interesting is these bundle sheath cells are, are in very close association with the mesophyll cells. In the mesophyll cells, light reaction takes place and ATP and NADPH that is the assimilatory power to synthesize the hexose sugar normally takes place. Okay. So, using ATP and NADPH that is synthesized within the mesophyll cell, the bundle sheath cells utilize this ATP and NADPH or the product of these to synthesize sugar that is in the bundle sheet cells you see the synthesis of sugar. In the case of C3 plant everything is taking place within the mesophyll cells but in this case it requires mesophyll cells, bundle sheet cells got it for the synthesis of hexose sugar. So let me just explain the C4 pathway. To understand the C4 pathway what we do is first we draw a box. Now this box is, let me just you know draw this box and this box is the mesophyll cell. Okay, so we just write this is mesophyll cells. Okay, and within this mesophyll cell what I am going to do is, I am going to draw one more box so it will be easy for us to understand. Okay, so this box is now the chloroplast. Within the mesophyll cell, we have one more box that is chloroplast. This is now compared to chloroplast. Okay, chloroplast and this portion because it is very important. This portion is the cytoplasm. We just take it as cytoplasm of the mesophyll cells. And now I am going to draw one more uh, box and I am going to compare this box to another type of cell that is called as bundle sheet cells. So, mesophyll cell here, bundle sheet cell here and next what you see is the vascular bundle. So, Kranz anatomy. So, it is a different type of anatomy seen in C4 plants only. We just draw one more box. This is now the bundle sheet cell. We write here this is bundle sheath, bundle sheath cell. Again what I am going to do is I am going to put one more box that is the chloroplast of the bundle sheath cell. Okay. If you just compare the mesophyll cell and bundle sheath cell chloroplast, the number of chloroplast is more in this case the bundle sheath cells compared to the mesophyll cell. Okay. Now, here you see the connections. The connection is nothing but the plasma decimator. The plasma decimator now connects the neighboring cells. Okay. In this case, the plasma decimator connects the mesophyll with the bundle sheet cell. Okay. Mesophyll and bundle sheet cells are now connected. So, let me just label it. This is now the plasma decimator. Okay. Now, in the cytoplasm, okay, so cytoplasm, in the cytoplasm what you see is a 3 carbon compound that is PEP, phosphoenolpyruvate, okay, so we write here.
pep is phospho enol pyruvate that is called as pep okay we have it in the cytoplasm and now this phospho enol pyruvate is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor so it's going to fix the carbon dioxide into the mesophyll cell okay so let me just you know write carbon dioxide that is in the environment which is now taken by this pep okay with the help of one enzyme one enzyme is required for it not rubisco in this case it is called as pep carboxylase i'll write here the enzyme which fixes the carbon dioxide is called as pep carboxylase carboxylase note one point pep carboxylase enzyme is seen only inside the cytoplasm of the mesophyll cell whereas rubisco is seen only inside the stroma of the chloroplast this pep once it takes the carbon dioxide that is the fixation okay it produces four carbon compound that is oxaloacetic acid o double a oxalo acetic acid we get oxaloacetic acid o double a which is now a four carbon compound hence the name c4 pathway which is the first product so it is going to be the first product of this pathway c4 pathway which is synthesized within the cytoplasm of the mesophyll cell this oxaloacetic acid now it's going to take the entry into the chloroplast now it's going to take the entry into the chloroplast let me write here the oxaloacetic acid has taken the entry into the chloroplast and now what's going to happen it gets converted into malic acid okay we write here malic acid or it could be aspartic acid too okay we write here malic acid or aspartic acid for this session i'm going to consider malic acid it will be easy for me to explain okay for the conversion what is required is we need one enzyme that is malate dehydrogenase this enzyme is required and another thing is we need nadph for this uh, malic acid synthesis from oxaloacetic acid which is nothing but the product of light reaction in adph okay now this malic acid now gets uh, transported into the bundle sheath cell now it is transported into the bundle sheath cell particularly into the chloroplast of the bundle sheath cell okay so this is now the chloroplast of the bundle sheath cell okay we write malic acid in the chloroplast of the bundle sheath cell the malic acid breaks into okay we write here it breaks into pyruvic acid which is a three carbon compound see this is now four carbon compound the malic acid is also four carbon compound hence it is actually four c these are all organic acids okay the malic acid again four c now it is three c that means something is happening that means you know we are remo removing the carbon from the malic acid a process called as decarboxylation okay so this process is called as decarboxylation that means a carbon dioxide is coming out from the malic acid okay so carbon dioxide comes out in the chloroplast of the bundle sheath cell what is the fate of this carbon dioxide now carbon dioxide enter the calvin cycle it is understood that c3 pathway is common you take c3 pathway itself or c4 pathway or even if you take crassulation acid metabolism that is cam in the case of apuntia desert plants c3 pathway operates in all these d3 different types of plants so it is common calvin cycle okay so finally what is synthesized hexose sugar is synthesized within the chloroplast of the bundle sheet cell got it okay let us see what is the fate of this pyruvic acid this pyruvic acid is required to resynthesize phosphoenol pyruvate okay so now it is transported back to the mesophyll cell okay let me write pyruvic acid here okay it is understood pyruvic acid which is now 3c now what's going to happen now this pyruvic acid with the help of one enzyme that is phosphoenol pyruvate synthetase an enzyme which is present inside the chloroplast of the mesophyll which now converts the pyruvic acid into pep phosphoenol pyruvate within the again chloroplast of the mesophyll cell 
and now what's going to happen this pap now comes out of the chloroplast and now it enters the cytoplasm again it is ready for the process got it this pep now let me just write the malic acid the breaking of the malic acid into carbon dioxide and pyruvic acid now it results in the formation of NADPH so NADPH is now produced got it NADPH is now synthesized or produced during this process and for this we need one enzyme for this conversion malic acid into pyruvic acid that is NADP enzyme okay so this is required for this conversion of malic acid into pyruvic acid done but we know that so this is all about c4 pathway it is very easy now but what is interesting is we have already learned that in c3 pathway what is required is six carbon dioxide molecules are required because calvin cycle operates in six turns to synthesize one hexose sugar okay so that means we need 6 oxaloacetic acid to synthesize 6 oxaloacetic acid we need 6 phosphoenol pyruvate but again we need 6 carbon dioxide everything operates in 6 turns similar to your C3 pathway so 6 I will just write everything as 6 so 6 malic acid is produced again 6 malic acid is now transported into the chloroplast of the bundle sheet cell okay so now we have to write everything is 6 6 6 whatever required for this process everything should be written as 6 okay finally one hexose is uh, produced here also 6 carbon dioxide is synthesized that is removed not synthesized sorry and here 6 pyruvic acid again 6 pyruvic acid 6 phosphoenol pyruvate we need even 6 phosphoenol pyruvate synthetic enzyme everything should be 6 it should be written as 6 got it now for this process I forgot to mention it is energy required process we need to supply for one turn for synthesis of one phosphoenol pyruvate from one pyruvic acid we need to supply 2 ATP and it gets converted into 2 ADP plus 2 inorganic phosphate so if it is operates in 6 turns everything should be 12 so we need to supply 12 ATP okay so this is the thing now calculation part it's very easy for your competitive examination normally they pick the calculation part like how many ATPs are required or how many NADPH are required so simple what we do is we write here within this mesophyll cell how many ATPs are now lost required so we have to write 12 ATPs for the conversion of pyruvic acid into phosphoenol pyruvate we need 12 ATP okay if you take here I have not written anything about ATP okay but still we know that in the Calvin cycle we need to provide 18 ATPs correct we have already studied about it how many NADPH is required for the Calvin cycle 12 NADPH is required that is the assimilatory power synthesized during light reaction in the mesophyll cell okay so we have to write 18 ATP 12 plus 18 ATP that is 30 ATP so in C4 pathway the major difference in ATP requirement compared to C3 pathway is it is more ATPs are required in this case more ATPs are required in the C4 pathway compared to C3 pathway here NADPH is similar that is nothing but 12 NADPH is required even I have written NADPH here but see 6 NADPH is used at the same time 6 NADPH is now synthesized there is no loss or gain in this case so 12 NADPH that is required for calving cycle to run the Calvin cycle got it so that's all about the c4 pathway hope you understood this session okay when you take uh, or co uh, like compare c3 plants with c4 plants it is highly effective it's highly highly productive that is actually the rate of photosynthesis is more in the case of c4 pathway let me write here rate of photosynthesis is more in the case of c4 pathway compared to c3 pathway the reason is the enzyme in the case of C3 pathway everything is done operated within the mesophyll cell there is one enzyme called as Rubisco right Rubisco in the case of C3 pathway this Rubisco can fix carbon dioxide at the same time it can also fix oxygen I will discuss it in photorespiration concept okay so that may lead to loss in the hexose sugar formation because actually it sometimes you know, it can also it has got more affinity to bind with oxygen than carbon dioxide 
so that you know the rate of photosynthesis will be reduced. But in this case, Rubisco is present within the bundle sheet cell, correct? Because the Calvin cycle operates in the bundle sheet cell, where there is no entry. Because as I said, that you know these cells are impermeable to gases. That means the only way to get carbon dioxide is from the mesophyll cell then into bundle sheet cell. Yes, oxygen cannot be entered into the bundle sheet cells. There is no way of getting uh, the oxygen into this bundle sheet cell. If they have to enter, then obviously they have to enter through the mesophyll cell. But these bundle sheet cells will not permit the oxygen to enter into the bundle sheet cell. Hence, the Calvin cycle will be effective compared to C3 pathway or in C3 plants. So, C4 plants got more productivity. The biosynthetic productivity is more in C4 plants compared to C3 plants. That's all about it from this session. If you like the session, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.